I have a huge problem with the free well wide angle and anamorphic lens kit. That's the new one with the neutral density compatibility right here on Amazon. Well, first of all, like you can see, it's $129, which is absolutely absurd, you know. But on top of that, um, they claim, you know, that it's supposedly the best on the market and all this shit. But, like, another reviewer said its magnets are not that strong. And I don't understand why nobody can make magnets the appropriate amount of strength to just attach to the DJI without breaking it or magnetically overwhelming anything. Around the outside here where I'm putting my mouse, there's nothing here on the edges. Absolutely nothing to prevent it from scratching your lens. Like, And th this is $130, and they haven't microscopically with the same robot arm that made the lens, which is bargain bin, by the way, because it's just a robot arm cutting and doing everything. They haven't put any uh, padding on the back. So... This effectively makes it to where it could potentially scratch the edges, even if it's out of sight of your DJI. And if you slide it on wrong, it could actually scratch the middle of your DJI and make visible scratches within your image. Um, most of these, almost all of the lens filters, and, I, and which means we need new solutions, come with various problems. Freewell needs to release a new uh, lens kit that has these on the sides, and they need to release it for fucking you know, $15 for both of these lenses because they're not worth anything. They're really worth, you know, 69 cents because they're just tiny little glued pieces of glass and plastic. But, you know, uh, the point here is we also need a fisheye lens because that's fun and there's nothing that's padded in that category either. Um, and, and, you know, decent build quality too because uh, most of the fisheye lenses kind of make it more blurry than it needs to be as if the glass is just really low quality in the first place and really poorly cut or machined in some way automatically. So really all I'm asking for is um, that either they copy, there's, um, I, I can't find it on here easily, I'm just talking, so bear with me that I'm not going to open up other wedge pages because I'm just trying to cover this quickly. There's some neutral density lens filters which you need to make uh, water opaque if you want to be like viewing fishing easier. Uh, or like, you know, for example, you want to shot through a window of like a front of a car without glare at night, you can sort of turn it until some of the light is blocked and then it'll appear clearer through certain surfaces that are reflective, but still see through. Well, those clip on the very front of the DJI I'm holding right now over everything onto the actual front. Now... Of course, those come with their own set of problems. If they were to clip on too hard, they'd have to be very, you know, selective with the way they went on. But that would work a lot better as a solution for all of these lens types because everybody complains and probably will complain no matter how strong you make the magnetism. Even if the DJI, it doesn't interfere with its magnetic internals to make it that magnetic. They'll just brush it off accidentally anyway, so... Maybe the over-the-body design might be the way to go, unless there's no way to make it actually stay on the head of the DJI without being difficult to remove. Because you don't want to damage the head of your DJI either. This is a delicate device, and it's made entirely out of aluminum without even 1% steel in it. So, you know, there's limitations right now. I don't know why they didn't put a stronger glass on the front of the DJI, like Gorilla Glass number something. Same as the Run Cam. It would have been cheap. I have a Run Cam Orange 5 that uh, has the latest Gorilla Glass, and it was $99 when I purchased it. I like another one, and I don't know why they increased that in price as well. But, you know, um, overall, I'm just asking for functional actual lenses for the, the, the DJI that don't require me to scratch any part of my glass, which I just find to be an unacceptable, you know, payoff for getting anamorphic or wide-angle footage. And that's why you didn't see it in my fireworks uh, display that I recorded, because not only are they charging too much, but there's no updated model with any back fluff for almost any of these. So the most I'm going to be getting, I guess, is neutral density filters until uh, hopefully people are still supporting the DJI and release something with padding on the back or something that goes over the top, like the ones that are neutral density filters you can turn because uh, as it currently is, that's all we have is neutral density filters for the DJI. Everything else uh, doesn't really function. 
because it'll scratch it. Uh, we need a functional, and I'd like multiple companies to do this so that it's not overpriced, a functional, what's it called? Um, like night filter for stars, you know, long exposure. You need all the different things on the list. A, uh, I, I forget the different filters, all the different ones that, that, that are there, but at least the ones I already described already, including these. Oh yeah, there needs to be a macro that doesn't scratch the back of this because as it currently is, I'm holding this DJI a distance away from the screen and it only focuses at that certain distance. So a macro lens needs to be employed to get the functionality to view things up close like keys, like bits of flour that are sticking to somebody's finger while making things. And um, the macro lenses, I assume I'll scratch the back of I mean, sorry, the backs of them scratch the DJI screen as well. Though that's all.